Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house in this video and two more videos. I'm going to show you the My Sheets application from ServiceNow's Innovation Lab that's available from the ServiceNow store. Now I'm going to go on record that this is the second time I've made this video because I didn't press record the first time. Wah, wah, wah. All right. So what is this application? An evolution of spreadsheets. All right. So ServiceNow has released this new application where you can come in and work with a spreadsheet spreadsheet like interface, right? So we're going to have the concept of books and that are in workspaces. Those books can have sheets and those sheets can have forms and collaborators and administrators and all that stuff. So rather than walk through all the features on this page, like you see here, I'm going to show you in my demo instance. Now this is not available in your personal developer instance or PDI. I had to request this from the ServiceNow store through my job into one of our demo instances in order for me to show you this in this video. But let's go ahead, take a look. Evolution of spreadsheets. This is the dashboard view. Um, I can come in here, I can learn more, which will take me to ServiceNow store. I have forms that are pending submission, recently opened books. I've left all of this blank so you can see me start from scratch and we're gonna start from scratch with adding a workspace. Now, leave me a comment down below. What do you think I'm gonna call my workspace? That's right, Justin's house is gonna be the name of my workspace and in Justin's house, I'm gonna create a new book. Now notice when creating a new workbook, I can do it from scratch or I can quickly import from a spreadsheet. I'm gonna do this option, import from a spreadsheet, in video number three. So look for that after this video releases. And here I'm gonna create from scratch, all right? So let's walk through a couple of things. One is I can change the name of my book. So we're gonna call this ServiceNow Enhancement Ideas. And notice I can change the color of this book. I can change the icon. If you look just above there, it's actually changing the icon as I'm changing it here. We'll use the binoculars. I could delete the book if I wanted, but that would defeat the purpose of recording this video. And once that's done, I can now start working with sheets. I have a sheet one or whatever that's already there. So we're just gonna rename this and call this the coolest sheet of all sheets and hit save and I could add or import something else. Again, we're gonna cover that in a future video. And one more thing while we're here talking about the entire book is that I have a share book available up here on the right hand side. Um, there also is this little icon that's a warning about putting confidential or sensitive data. But let me go ahead and click share book and you can see how extensive and collaborative this is in which I can set up different administrators, contributors, and viewers, and I can do that at the user level, which you see there, or I can do it at the group level. So I can bring in groups of people to help come in and collaborate with me. Same with the workspace itself, so Justin's, Justin's house, but I'm gonna leave this as the user and I'm gonna do able tutor as my fellow administrator, my contributor, I'm gonna to set to old Abraham Lincoln, and we're gonna give view only to George Washington, so that in video number two, we're gonna impersonate those people and come in and see what all this looks like. Thank you for the confirmation there that that's been updated successfully. So now let's go ahead and build out our view. I'm gonna change this one and rename it to the administrator view. And we're gonna have actually two views by the time I get done. So let's go administrators. Actually, I'll just call this administrators. That way we don't have to be redundant with the word view. And it comes already with a name field. So I'm gonna change this to idea. So the idea is is that someone would come in and submit their ideas. And when they do that, I might want them to submit a little bit more details than just a little one line text of the idea. And also in addition to that, I might want them to select from a category. So let's do a single select box. We'll call it category. And then I'm gonna call this must have. I can change the color here of that option. We'll add a second option for should have. We'll change the color of that. Um, we'll do a third option for could have. If you're not familiar with the Moscow method, that's actually what I'm kind of imitating here and uh, trying to change the colors there we go add an option for will not have and then change that to that so now I've got some choices in there the last thing I want to do is I wanted to see how the reference field worked in here so let's pull, go ahead and pull up a reference and we're gonna call this reference a story I thought hey if we're having users submit service now enhancement ideas I may want to eventually associate a story that my admin team is working on and have that associated with the idea now notice I can actually set up a reference reference qualifier so we're not pulling in all stories in the system because there's other teams besides ServiceNow teams that use the Agile application. So let's go ahead and filter 
this on assignment group. Um, I'm gonna have to scroll down a little bit so you can see it there. Um, so when I didn't type anything in there, this is what it looked like. And then I just searched for assignment group and we'll search for my agile team, which is called ServiceNow Sprinters. ServiceNow Sprinters, there we go. And that's it. Now it's only going to pull stories in from that group. And that's pretty much what I want in my form. Now notice, I can go ahead and start adding rows here and put in some information. First idea and uh, some additional details. Well, this is interesting. I pop that out into a bigger box. Wouldn't you like to know? And we'll go ahead and set a category for this as must have. And we won't associate a story with it because I don't have any stories yet. So there you go. I just filled out the form as the admin. Now I want to create a user version of this that's going to contribute to it. So notice I can rename duplicate or delete the view. Let's duplicate it and we'll call this users. So this is by service now users that I'm going to want them to come in here. And the one thing I'm going to change is I don't want them to specify a story. That's something my admin team is going to do. So we're going to use this feature here to show high show or hide fields by clicking on here and turning off the story. I'll also highlight you can change the order of them in this view. So if I want to move the category up here uh, before the additional details, I can do that. So it's all drag and droppable and move it, you can move all that. Last thing we're gonna do here um, with this configuration in this video is go ahead and add a form. So let's go ahead and call this ServiceNow Enhancements. We'll hit save. If you haven't already, check out my video. I'll link to it above about my forms from ServiceNow Innovation Lab. Very similar look and feel. I think they might be connected, but this form experience is way different from the one I showed in my last video, but you may be interested in seeing that. Um, ServiceNow Enhancements, we're just gonna say, um, please leave your ideas for enhancements. Uh, using this form. There we go. And uh, I won't put a picture or anything, but it looks like you can upload a picture that'll probably show on the banner if you wanted. I can change the banner color. So let's go ahead and this happened before when I did the video. Sometimes these were working, sometimes they weren't. Um, I think you gotta click exactly on the center of that circle. There we go. And that kind of changed things there. Um, so that changed my banner. We get a little preview of it. Now for the actual form itself, if I didn't want this idea to show on the form, I can just drag it over here to my fields and it'll show there or I can drag it back. Um, there's another way to do this, but let's go ahead and walk through this idea. I want them to fill out that field, so I'm gonna make it required. Additional details, I want that too. We're gonna make it required. Category, that's that Moscow method. I'm gonna make that required. But the story, I don't want, again, I don't want them messing with the story because that's kind of my team's job. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the minus sign there. And what do you know, it shows up here in the field list to be dragged and dropped back into the form there on the right. So that's that, I'm gonna hit publish publish and now that form is ready to go and I can start sharing that with people to actually do so I can go over to a user I can do go to a group um, for contributors and viewers so that is the form that is the setup of the grid views what I want to do the only other thing uh, well many of the thing, one of the many things I haven't shown you yet there is this automation tab I don't know what it does yet but it says coming soon get ready something really cool is coming so I don't know what it is and if I just haven't stumbled across it or if we really are waiting for enhancement from service now but there will be a part two part two I'm gonna log in as those users George Washington Abraham Lincoln able architect able architect and see what those different how it works for them and then in the third video we're gonna mess around with this spreadsheets and importing and exporting um, using Microsoft Excel I hope you found this video helpful if you did please like please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in the new evolution of spreadsheets in service now and until next time don't forget to always be learning.